Alright, so it's been a good while since I've taken you guys through a full day to day of my life and show you one of my current reads. Now, to be honest, the last year or so I've been heavily just creating for Matt's channel, for my channel, just in general. So I haven't had a lot of time. I haven't been listening to a lot of podcasts. I haven't been doing a lot of like, you know, learning for myself. I've just been creating like crazy for the last year. So this is the first book I've read in a while. This is Stefan Arnio's book, Hard Time Creates Strong Men. I actually went down with Matt to visit Stefan Arnio. He's a big real estate investor in Winnipeg and uh, he's got some very interesting concepts and theories in, in regards to making money, investing with people, how to negotiate, how to, let's say for instance, you have a good business plan, how to actually pitch to people and have people understand your business and what you're doing and how to win them over, right? So this book is very fascinating. If you guys haven't heard about this, I really suggest going to check it out. I think a lot of men in the world need a guy and something like this in life to make them see and understand truly what goes on in the, the masculine brain and what happens to men when certain uh, things in society happens. He dives in a lot back into the, uh, the history of civilizations and stuff and explains why hard times create strong men and why right now in society we kind of have a lot of weak men because of good times. So I think this book is very fascinating. It's really helping me to solidify a lot of ideas ideas and concepts that I already had about all this stuff about you know weak men and how to become a strong man in this modern day society and that's kind of a lot of what I'm trying to represent here on my YouTube channel is you know having morals and principles for yourself and truly you know taking on an identity and, and living it to the fullest and that's kind of like what I'm doing here with the Hungarian experiment so uh, I think this book is great make sure you guys go check it out I got another I think hundred pages or so but this book is awesome there's a lot of great uh, pictures and photos and drawings in it so uh, I really just going to check it out guys there's some funny stuff in here let's see if we get to one at least so yeah just a lot of great artwork in this book and uh, yeah shout out to Stefan Arnio he wrote a great book and he's wrote a whole bunch of others and again me and Matt went down shot a whole bunch of videos with him I uh, had dinner with him and his media guy and it was a great day I think Stefan's a, a great guy and I see big things coming for him just like I see with Matt and everything so uh, guys go check out this book and if you guys happen to read it and go give Stefan Arnio a shout out and let let him know that the Hungarian experiment told you about his book. But for instance, one great thing that I'm on here right now is a quote from Aristotle that he has in this book and it says, masculine republics give away to feminine democracies and feminine democracies give way to tyranny. So it's just very interesting, a lot of the concepts he's discussing in this book, comparing it to the past and kind of a lot of what's going on here in our modern day society. And after this book, I'm actually really looking forward to reading Michael Pollan's How to Change Your Mind book. And it's all about like psychedelics and mushrooms and stuff. So now that I've been exploring and experimenting for a good nine to 10 months now with the mushrooms at various dosages and you know, doing it with while exercising and while meditating and all these different kinds of situations, I really wanna dive into all the kind of research that we have out there right now and you know kind of compare my results and my experiences with a lot of the research that's out there and see if there's any similarities and uh, yeah so I'm really looking forward to that I'm trying to get back on to uh, you know exploring and uh, really getting back into looking through resources and diving back into books again I created hard for a year in 2020 I'm gonna be creating really hard so for the next you know four to five months I want to try to digest as much information about things that uh, I'm passionate about as I can going into uh, 2020.